Hello students, uh, so uh, yesterday we have an announcement uh, from the institute that syllabus 2022 is launched for CMA students. So uh, till now we were uh, discussing about 2016, syllabus 2016 and syllabus 2022 notification has come and very soon we will be releasing, uh, institute must be releasing the study materials and I will post a discussion after receiving the study materials also. So what has changed from this 2016 to 2022? That's what we are going to see in this video for the foundation course for the inter and the final students. Okay, so let me go inside the foundation. Okay, so what is the major change? So initially the uh, syllabus change will happen every four years. So, so there was syllabus 2008, 2012 and 2016. So every four years the syllabus used to change like a World Cup that is happening. But due to Corona, the, the next syllabus change should have happened after 2016 is 2020. But due to COVID-19, the syllabus rollout was delayed. And uh, our and many students got benefited out of it and we were experiencing some uh, very difficult situation in this COVID-19 and rollout of new syllabus would have been a mess for many students and uh, uh, many passed out candidates would have been suffered a lot. Okay, uh, and it, it would be very traumatic experience. So, Institute has supported the students very well to roll out or to delay the rollout of the new syllabus. And the new syllabus is not syllabus 2020, it is coming now, it is syllabus 2022, okay. So for the foundation course, okay, uh, so what is the aim of the institute? So why should we, they change the syllabus? Because the industry is going at a particular phase and the new candidates, what industry needs, okay, should be trained in the as per the industry's new requirement. So the requirement of industries keep on changing. So the students has to be more equipped. Okay, then only they will become more employable. Okay, so th this is a very good effort of the Institute to revise every four years the syllabus and in between the four years a lot of additions comes up on the study material, maybe the direct loss, direct law, direct taxation would have changed because of the budget uh, session that has happened, uh, new budget that is done by the union government, okay, indirect tax would have changed because of some new indirect tax rules that has been come from the uh, indirect taxation. So all this, the new edition, lot of new editions will be released within the change of budget, uh, change of syllabus and change of syllabus happens every four year and last change has happened 2016 and due to COVID-19 it got delayed and just now we have got 2022 syllabus. Now, well, now let's go inside the foundation course. Okay, so they want to bring more conceptual learning number one number two they want to expose the students to as much things as possible right from the foundation course itself here if you see paper four in 2016 syllabus which is fundamentals of business mathematics and statistics is totally not changed okay so from the point of view of uh, you can see the exact fundamentals of business mathematics and statistics that is exactly same. Okay, currently the business mathematics is 40% and statistics is 60% and there is no uh, qualifications given from the uh, institute side that they are going to change the exam pattern. The same MCQ types question paper is going to continue. That's what I feel and anybody has any news please drop your comments and and there are changes in some other other few subjects except this subject which I have highlighted in green in 2016 here and 2022 here all other subjects ha is having a name change so any name change will be associated with little modification on the syllabus but the foundation point of view the modifications are going to be very less that's what I feel so fundamentals of economics and management. So he, here the name of the subject is changed to fundamentals of business economics and management. So they want to bring the name business because 
we are not cost and works accountant anymore we are cost and management accountant when we say a term called cost and management accountant it's a globalized word okay and in many countries like uk or us they call the accountant in accounting role accounting not accounting a most professional finance designation as management accountant so they call it as management accountant so they are responsible for key decision making so they are responsible for the business profitability business strategy and everything okay so they will be a single point of contact so they don't they want to bring in the responsibility of the business as a management account you are responsible for the business so how to bring in that feel so changing the subject name they have changed from economics and management to business economic and management same way fundamentals of accounting they want to be more specific already the fundamentals of accounting has financial accounting 80% and cost accounting 20% but they changed this name of the subject to fundamentals of financial and cost of accounting maybe the percentage 80 20 between financial and cost accounting at the current level may change to 50 50 or 60 40 also we don't know that but the point is they want to be more specific the student should not just like that uh, be good at financial accounting and become a cost accountant okay they want to stress the importance of the accounting as well as the bifurcation of accounting into cost accounting and financial accounting and they have to have good fundamentals and good foundation on the cost accounting as well so that is the aim for changing the name of the subject they are becoming more specific next is fundamentals of law and ethics is changed to fundamentals of business laws so law it's like a commercial law so commercial means a business running a uh entities run running the business for the commercial purposes so it is nothing but the law wise it is same just they want to add a responsibility to you by adding the name called business and ethics ethics was having 30 percentage weightage and now that is changed to business communication so business communication in the sense how that is also linked with ethics so how ethically you have to communicate how ethically you have to uh, be within the uh, business environment and business communication how you have to communicate yourself within the company or to an outsider how the information flow will happen and this is what comes the business communication they are making the foundation students more professional okay and now let's go inside the inter syllabus inter syllabus has seen a big change the main reason is they they are creating more weightage on the syllabus so currently what the uh, institute feels is the inter students is becoming more and more employable many companies are asking for cma inter also okay so and the requirement or the job responsibilities for the job is increasing day by day so they want to add more weightage for the inter students so there are a lot of subjects that has not changed let's go inside the first four subjects which is form form part of the group one okay so the group one paper five financial accounting is not changed paper eight cost accounting is also not changed so then what has changed a major change on the taxation paper seven is direct taxation was group one and indirect taxation was sitting in the group two now this has changed so the di direct and indirect taxation which means direct taxation you are giving examination for 100 marks and indirect taxation you are giving examination for 100 marks now these both are clubbed and you are going to give examination for 50 50 each I expect it to be 50-50 because both are equally important for a CMA to get uh, prepared. Okay, so 100 marks you are going to prepare the direct tax as well as indirect tax. Okay, so of course the GST is going to be the major for GST plus custom duty. You can rock the indirect tax paper. However, this you have you have been rocking till now in the group two, but now this is clubbed with the direct tax okay so direct taxation uh, paper paper 7 has the weightage has so much increased any weightage increase uh, students this is going to benefit us 
because we are going to be more qualified we are going to know more things okay don't worry about the difficulty level okay we will make it possible okay next is we we are ready to discuss about laws and ethics currently the paper name is laws and ethics which accounts for commercial law 30 percentage industrial law 25 percentage corporate law which is something about the companies act the uh, institute wants students to know at the inter level itself and the complete companies act you will be knowing in the final and ethics 10 percentage so this was the name of the subject and this is changed to business law and ethics so i don't feel there is any change in the ethics but commercial law is required for running of the business industrial law of course any business will have a factory also manufacturing business that requires industrial law corporate law of course all the business has to comply with the corporate law companies uh, companies and companies act so it's one it should be only the subject name change or any law that is related to business is added to this maybe a sebi law or fema rules fema guidelines from the final syllabus maybe something is brought inside Com uh, competition act something is brought inside because all this is or in the circle of business when you are seeing as a business all this comes un under the business business laws so that is the change from the law and ethics paper which is paper number 6 and uh, paper number 6 at current level but this is changed to paper number 5 and the second thing is the taxation which is paper 7 only but direct taxation is changed to direct plus indirect tax in the group 1 itself now we will go to group 2 and group 2 operation management and strategic management our channel is having a complete video recordings for this subject and this subject has not changed at all so you can follow the same videos that is there in our channel so that is totally not changed so paper 9 is not changed paper 10 is also not changed which is currently paper 12 company accounts and audit it is changed to corporate accounting and auditing so the name of the subject is changed i don't feel either the percentage or syllabus uh, would have been changed because it is it's exactly the same they want to become more responsible in the word business is added and the word corporate is added instead of company okay so what has changed okay because indirect taxation has gone to group 1 so that space is vacant in group 2 so a new person is coming for that space so who is that person it is management accounting currently there is a subject cost and management accounting and financial management okay and our um, channel is also having a uh, almost we have covered cost and management accounting which is the 50% of this subject we have we already have video recordings in our channel itself now the company wants to stress upon management accounting that's why i said in euro or in uh, us uh the word there is a separate designation called management accountant which means decision making okay it's not just doing the costing what is the cost or standard costing applying that and taking a decision for you marginal costing what is the decision making so the more importance will be given for the decision making criteria then you will be a very qualified cma inter guys what the industry needs so industry need has gone up that's why your syllabus weightage has gone up just think if you leave because of this increase in weightage if you skip doing the cma inter then you will be not uh, fit for the industry so you all if you are cma inter aspirant please go for it do not think that this weightage is going to at difficulty level to you it is going to benefit you okay see institute is equipping you with more knowledge which means you are going to be more inter ready you are going to be more employable with cma inter qualification itself okay so go ahead guys so that is the management accounting is a separate subject for 100 marks okay just think cost and management accounting and financial management in which cost and management accounting was only for 50 marks in which management accounting decision making part will only for 25 to 40 marks that is going to be a full paper just think the stress uh, how much the institute is stressing on this management accounting 
so that's going to be a very important so if you are a cma asp inter aspirant with 2016 syllabus read this so uh, carefully and deeply because this will have good benefit for you with the final also if they are stressing so much on the management accounting in inter itself they are going to have some decision making advanced decision making skills in the final also so please uh, students don't miss cma uh, here so cma and financial management subject give lot of importance weightage to it okay next is the indirect taxation uh, we have a new entrant here and financial management and business data analytics okay so they are financial management uh, cost and management accounting and financial management was there so financial management is kept as it is here in paper 11 however a new entrant business data analytics has come now indirect tax has gone to group 1 so the space is vacant so who is the new entrant business data analytics is the new data entrant okay so what is the business data and how this data is to be analyzed okay maybe the share market will come into picture stock uh, market will come into picture how to analyze the fundamentals of a share of a business uh, what is the fundamentals of the business analyze the balance sheet of a company profit pnl of a company okay so consolidated uh, financial statements of the company how to analyze compare between the two companies which ratios are better which company is better so all kind of data analytics is going to come here so uh, considering uh, the inter syllabus the overall summary is the weightage has gone up okay um, you have to study with the new syllabus so that you are industry ready okay so if you are in 2016 syllabus give more weightage to cma and financial management subject okay and videos are just going on in our channel you can just browse our playlist and you can find cma uh, drop box and you can click on all the videos will be there on the cma and financial management next we are going to the final syllabus okay so you can see final syllabus out of uh, i have taken seven papers here okay the last paper is changed into a elective paper that i will discuss in the next uh, the next uh, slide so here you can see all green which means the final is at very good at par with industry this shows that final students of cma the fully qualified cma guys or you are fully fit for the industry this shows that okay then what has changed in the final only one thing corporate laws and compliance which had companies act insolvency and bankruptcy code as 60 percentage weightage and other laws like sebi regulation fema regulation ka uh competitions act as 25 percentage of the weightage and governance as 15 percentage and now this has been changed to corporate and economic laws which means they are going to skip corporate governance i don't think they will skip corporate governance because corporate governance is a very very futuristic topic they will not leave that so they are going to add some economic laws okay when the government feels some laws has been newly enacted or the compliance of certain economic laws is very poor they will ensure the students of the institute should be more qualified so that the they they will get employed into a company and they will increase the comp compliance level of their respective companies so there is a some economic laws that is coming so little weightage for the law is increased remaining all the subject is almost same and if you have any comments on this please uh, share in the comment box and now we are going to discuss our final last paper which is the paper 20 currently we do not have any choices and we have to study strategic performance management and business valuation in 2012 syllabus there was elective papers you can choose between three or four papers but this was not there in 2016 syllabus now this has once again come in and if you are a final student you are going to register for 2022 syllabus you have to select among these three subject one among these three subject luckily the existing paper strategic performance management business valuation is continued in the elective also you can select either a 
20A or 20B or 20C. You can, you are free to choose one paper uh, among these three paper. So what the two things that are newly come in? Risk management in banking and insurance. It's a very good paper. So banking and insurance, the risk has to be managed effectively. Next is entrepreneurship and startup. So now we are in the startup era. New companies are coming even in the education industry. Lot of edtech companies has come. What is edtech? It is educational technology. You can see Baiju's, Vedantu. So all those things has come up. Same way you can see in lot of field, lot of new entrants and startups has comes, come up. So maybe you will put into what are startup rules and regulations, entrepreneurship, what is entrepreneurship? How to become an entrepreneur? What will be the minimum compliance required for it? What is the abilities required for you to become an entrepreneur startup? Okay, so that paper has also come up. So this is about the final course. So my last slide. So any syllabus change is going to be a big change for the students. So how this change is going to be managed, that is more important. So CMA syllabus 2022 will be effective from June 2023. Now June 2022 examination is going to come. One year from now, this will be effective. So till that for June 2022, December 2022. So your examination is going to be only syllabus 2016. Next student taking enrollment for final course have to give one time option about choice of elective paper. So while registering for the final course itself, you have to select the elective paper choosing 20A or 20B or 20C, one among those three. Syllabus 2016 shall be continued till December 2023. So this is where the institute is so much supporting the students friends. This is a so helpful and so friendly institute. Just think for June 2022, December 2022, it is only syllabus 2016. In June 2023, syllabus 2022 will be active as well as syllabus 2016 will be active. So in June 2023 and December 2023, there will be two sets of question paper for all the uh, course that you are taking up, 2016 question paper will also be there, 2022 question paper will also be there. So syllabus 2016 friends, your last attempt for giving examination on 2016 is going to be December 2023. So uh, be energetic, give your full, uh, full efforts for this coming examination june 2022 you are having december 2022 june 2023 and december 2023 three options is left out to give examination in syllabus 2016 syllabus so why we need that we will clear whoever is the aspirants for this term you guys will clear this at this time itself so this is what is the new syllabus and how the syllabus institute has planned to roll out so all the very best students Thank you.